What is up everybody? I'm at a wetland. There's a couple beaver dams and there's a big pond over there. Um, and I'm looking for some salamanders. We're gonna see if we can get them. Uh, they're supposed to be moving. It's actually raining right now, which is like perfect conditions for them. So we're gonna kind of walk around, see if we can get some salamanders and uh, yeah, call it a day. All right, over the beaver dam. Oh, that's deep, a lot of sediment. Come into this little rocky hillside. We're gonna flip some rocks and see what we see. Whoa. So this keeps going back. All right, we just got a Helgramite. Nice little Helgramite. Yeah, look at that thing. Nice little tiny Helgramite doing some dances. Oh, actually, there's another one. It's underneath this log, but there's another one. Two Helgramites. Not exactly what we're looking for, but they're always fun to see. Doing their dances. Let's see if we can grab them in our hand. Yeah, these will these will grow up to be dobson flies. Good fishing bait. And we'll release them. Oh, there's a frog. Kind of cold. But a nice little froggy. Our first amphibian for the day. Nice. Nice little pickerel frog. Look at those yellow legs on them. Really nice yellow legs. Cool pickerel frog. We'll release you. See ya. So we just flipped over this log. Look at this. Two gorgeous looking salamanders. Gorgeous. Spotted salamanders. Let's go ahead and put them in the... Look at these guys. Oh my lord. Beautiful looking spotted salamander. All right. Gorgeous. So they're kind of just hanging out right there underneath this little rock, this little log, right along the this body of water right here. So look at these guys. So gorgeous, so pretty. Yeah, so these are yellow spotted, yellow spotted salamanders. And uh, right now, since it's springtime, they're trying to move, they're trying to move to some vernal pools. They're gonna lay their eggs. This looks like a big gravid female. Yeah, uh, they're, they're, they're moving and a lot of times they'll move across the roads and stuff. So if it's a rainy night, you'll a lot of times see these guys crossing the roads, but gorgeous looking salamanders. I mean, look at how cool that, look how cool that salamander is. Gorgeous looking salamander. A lot of times they'll actually go and, and move at night, but for right now, uh, they're mole salamanders too. So they'll live underneath, underneath ground. But let's get them up here, get some nice shots. Look at that. Gorgeous looking salamander. Let's get this one too. There you go, bud. Look at that. Really, really cool. Just pretty looking salamanders. And they can grow and they could live pretty long too. I know, I think someone at the nature center I was just at the other day was saying they grow and uh, live pretty, really long. Super excited about these. We're gonna go ahead and release them. I mean, just gorgeous looking salamanders. I just love these things so much. Make sure when you're picking them up too, you know, get your hands with some soil and stuff so they're not getting all the oils because they breathe through their skin. Um, so maybe dunk your hands in some water and and uh, keep them absolutely protected. But these things are gorgeous. I'm gonna put them back where I found them. I'm so, so excited I got to see them. Really, really cool cool creatures and there they go back under their log oh I love that all right I think we got to cross over I'm gonna cross this little lake area it looks a little deep here but we're gonna go back cross over oh holy crap and see if we could uh, 
get some more of the logs. I think they like being underneath logs. It's a little bit mucky, but making our way through, making a little mud trail. Um, kind of in this little little pond area. I mean, it's going pretty deep. Well, I have my winters on, it's a little bit cold. But yeah, going to the other side. I think those sound are gonna be underneath the logs and stuff. Not really much so rocks, so let's see if we can find some. Gorgeous day. All right, we made it to the next little vernal pool. Let's see what we can see. This is looking pretty good. Uh, a little bit of water in it, and it's still raining. It's still raining pretty good. All right, so the salamanders are definitely using this little vernal pool. You could see that there's some egg mass. Look at this egg mass. All these are just eggs. These jello looking things, all eggs for salamanders. So this whole glob is all little baby salamanders. Um, and they usually kind of put it up on these like brushes, um, little branches in the, in the water. And yeah, look at that. All salamander eggs, so cool. While I'm walking on this, it seems like the whole like, I'm almost like on like a peat bog or something. The whole thing kind of shakes around. It feels like everything's kind of interconnected. Holy moly. So these are all eggs again. More salamander eggs. Wow. Look at all those eggs. If you really look close, they're actually starting to develop. So if you can see really close, some of these are actually starting to develop into little salamanders. Ooh, there's a redback salamander. Throw him in the bucket. And there's also, look at this guy. Yellow spot, beautiful yellow spot. We'll throw him in there too. Two salamanders, two different types of salamanders. We've got the yellow spotted and then a little red back. It's cold today, so these guys are pretty lethargic, but look at that. Just a gorgeous looking, gorgeous looking specimen right here at the vernal pool. Love looking at those. Very nice. Gorgeous looking salamander. Love these things. Gorgeous looking salamander. A good thing to do when you're releasing salamanders or anything else you find underneath a rock or a log is to let this let the animal actually go back underneath uh, in the hole. Um, you don't you don't want to force the, you don't want to force the salamander or anything like that. Um, they kind of want to find their own way, so you're not pinching them or anything like that. You want to let them actually scoop back in there themselves, um, so they find their own way and. Yeah, it's, it's just best so you don't pinch them or they're not getting trapped anywhere. So that's the best practice of um, actually putting the salamander back to where it actually belongs. See you later. Right back into its hole. I also got a nice little red back. Red back salamander, they're pretty common. In one of E.O. Wilson's book, I want to say Diversity of Life, or one of those books, he states that the red back salamander is actually the number one biomass in the whole forest. So these little guys, lots of biomass, lots of them out there. They're really pretty. Hence their name, red back. They got that little red back, but it was a nice little surprise seeing him too um, underneath the log with that yellow spot. It's a good day to be herping, that's for sure. The, those rainy days are, you can make a rainy day a good day um, but by doing some herping, so. Let's go ahead and put him back too. He was found like a little bit closer up here. So we're gonna release him. He'll go back in his hole. Check it out. Little grub. Gotta love some grubs. I don't know what it is, but it's a grub, that's for sure. Maybe something will be eating it. Oh, I think there is. Yeah, look at that. Let's see if I can get this one. 
Nice. <laughs> Little spotted salamander. Awesome. Look at that. Nice spotted salamander. Get my hands a little bit. Check this out actually. Spotted salamander. And then, oh, also a newt. How cool is that? Look at that. Newt, spotted salamander, two different amphibians. Red spotted newt, I don't know if you can see the red spots. And then the yellow spotted salamander. Gorgeous looking creatures, side by side. Let's go ahead and put these. Get some water. Get him like that, and then we can put him back. Gorgeous looking yellow spotted. Really cool salamander. Newt. Yes, I got him. Look at that thing, another newt. There's two. Let's see if we can get a couple. Some red spotted newts, really pretty. Uh, let's see if we can grab one of them. Really pretty little guys. Um, this is the aquatic stage, so these guys live in the live in the water, and until they get um, to their terrestrial phase, um, so they'll grow into a they call it a red eft. Really cool looking little newt though. Let's see if we can get the underwater shot. All those are salamander eggs. All on that down tree. They just love that down tree. That is absurd. Oh, look at all these newts. Got them. There's a good newt. Oops. Look at this newt. Newty newt. Gosh, so pretty. Such a cool looking little newt. See if we can get you. Whoop. Nice. Little baby Mr. Newt. Red spotted newt. Gorgeous. Alright. Back in you go. Looks like a dusky salamander of some sorts. It was underneath this log. Let's see if there's anything else. Any other sallies? Okay. Yeah, it looks like a dusky salamander lost its tail. It's going kind of crazy. I think it's a dusky. I'll have to look at my field guide, but yeah, I think it's a dusky salamander. Really pretty. Cool. All right, Mr. Dusky, I'm gonna release you back. Little tiny centipede. Little tiny centipede, if you can see that. I'll take him out, put him back under. Oh, I see him. A baby crayfish? 
was going for the salamander and look at this little baby crayfish. I didn't even know there was baby crayfish in here. Aw, cute little guy. Let's put him in our little bucket. Let's see. Oh, there's a frog. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this little frog. What? That's freaking cool. I didn't even realize he was down up in there. All right, there you are. There's a frog, a crayfish. But where's the salamander? All right, I think the salamander's gone. Well, for, unfortunately I lost the salamander, but we got a frog. Looks like a green frog. So look at this guy, green frog. It's pretty cool. Nice looking green frog. We put him back in his little hole. That was cool. And then we got a little baby crayfish. It's the smallest crayfish I've ever seen in my life. Whew. Two lined salamander. Wow, look at that. Really pretty one. Two lined. Nice looking two lined salamander. Gorgeous. Got that yellow color to it. Beauty. Whoa. Cool little two-line salamander. All right, that's gonna be the end of the day. It rained the entire day. That actually helped me out a ton. The herpin was pretty good. I got a bunch of different diversity of species. Uh, salamanders, frogs, um, newts. Yeah, all in all, great day. You can't beat it. If it's, a, if it's raining out and you just feel like getting outside, try to do some herpin, some uh, salamander or frog hunting. Uh, it's a good time just to get out and see if you can catch some cool things. So thank you guys so much again for tuning in. Uh, I really appreciate everyone's support. I love, I love making these videos and I love getting outside and seeing what I can catch. So I appreciate all the support. We'll see you around.